Hello, welcome back to yet another video. It's so great to have you here. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Today we will be looking at minimalist portraiture styles and yeah, it's a fun little so it's a fun little area of photography. It's not too difficult to do, doesn't require a lot of thinking. It's just a nice little fun thing to try. Never have done it before. I just thought like every single one of these studio style videos, my background is constantly different. I need to move out so I can have a set space to record. That's a, that's a problem for future me. Anyway, the great thing about this style of photography is Firstly, very easy to do. It's really great for subjects or models that aren't quite comfortable on camera, but don't really mind having their photo taken because either they'll be really far away that they're hardly recognizable, they'll just be a subject in the distance, or they'll be in a style which I have been trying a little bit lately, is the subject being out of focus. And again, barely recognizable apart from their key features, like in these sets that I'll be showing you in a bit. Blue hair. All you really need is a lens, capable of going to a really high f-stop, so nice depth of field, really blurry background or blurry subject. I think I was using a 24mm 2.8 and a 50 1.8. Also, negative space in some of these styles of photos. Uh, here's an example of a negative space style photo. So negative space can really allow you to encapsulate a subject, uh, sort of that empty space in the one clean subject in the middle. I don't think, I didn't do much of this in the shoot that we did the other day, but it can also provide sort of a, a feeling of mystery and, uh, and sort of unease if that's what you're going for in a photo. So anyway, I went out the other day with my friend Anna as the model of subject and we just shot some photos. We had a bit of fun with it. Um, I tried to film what I could, but I was using my phone and shooting with the other hand. I really need to get a GoPro or some sort of like action camera I can mount on my chest. That's my next purchase, I think, because you will hear me complain about this a lot <laughs> in the coming sort of three minutes of this video. Anyway, over to photographer Callum. Hello, we're now here in Ashridge. There's Anna, the model. I can't, I can't. there you go. Um, yes, so we're gonna walk around, shoot some stuff in the style of like minimalist photography. I will just film some stuff of you climbing trees and stuff. I have to point the camera like this to get you in it. It's so small. It's so small. But otherwise, if I do it like this, it's just your head. It's still your head, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I will update you when we get to a location we want to shoot at. This is the sort of photo we're going for. You probably can't see it very well. Like, really, really minimalist. Hang on, I'm gonna step back a bit. This is really hard. I'm using a 50 at the moment because bokeh. I'm gonna shoot more and put this away because I need a GoPro to do more of this. Next purchase. She's gonna attempt to climb a tree. Get that shot. She has appeared. All right, Hello. gonna shoot now. Look, blue. Blue. There you go. There's more shots with the sort of style I'm looking at. I'm out of breath because we've walked up a hill. It's too tiring. There you go. Once it's editing, edited. Can't speak. That'll look a bit better. This is why I need a GoPro so I can just wear it. Yeah. Honor. <laughs> All done. We've got some shots. Amazing model. Even though she's blurry in most of the photos. Stylistically though, not, 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 not a bad photographer. <laughs> right, now to edit. High five the camera. That's not the camera. Well, I don't know how the just, camera is. Just hit the camera there. <laughs> so when it came down to editing these photos, I wanted to make them look quite warm, maybe even autumnal. And I found a great starting place, which was using a preset from a photographer I like called James Popsis. After applying this, I balanced out the colours a little, muted it, and brought out the greens and blues a lot more, since Honor's hair is very green and blue, and the clothes she was wearing were also green and blue based. I then went around with radial filters, uh, just to surround the subject and increase the exposure, a little bit of sharpness and clarity, just to make the subject stand out a little more in the quite busy looking scenes. After I was done editing in Lightroom, I moved some of the photos over to Photoshop to do some cleanup, mainly using the color replacement brush tool to even out Honor's hair color and the overall image just to make it a lot cleaner, and also removing any little distractions from the image. And once I finished editing, these are how they turned out. So 
general, I'm very, very happy with how these photos turned out. Um, I think my favorite one of the shoot was this one, somewhere here, I don't know. Uh, I just like how it's framed, the colors, and just that little bit of foreground detail as well, that leaf sticking out the middle. Um, just creating depth in these sort of photos can actually really help accentuate them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little photography video. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, also, if you've stuck around this long, I'm now just going to put bloopers at the end of me just being just an ADHD nightmare. Enjoy that. Minimalist folk like put ah! <sighs> and even just like just bring out the photo a little bit. I have no what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm ah. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say next. Blah, 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 blah. A 51.8 or 1.4. I can't remember. Who cares? Ah, my phone locked. There. Look, it's getting to spring now. All my plants are growing. Like, a lot. Look how pretty. It's a whale fin. It kind of looks like a whale fin, you know? Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a baby now, which is now bigger than it. I don't, this is a video about photography. No one cares. <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> oh, I'm losing the will to live. I lost that years ago. That's, that, that's a past problem. Why do I keep going out of focus? Focus on my face. Thank you.